I would like to present to you how not to package fish for shipping. Now this was a petty, petty person by the name of Yandro de Armas who did not want to pay for second day shipping but wanted second day shipping uh, and was uh, we were able to get him the fish alive in three days via UPS and he was simply upset that he didn't get him in two days which is really petty uh, that was a hundred and twelve dollars versus sixty four dollars and eighty cents uh, he didn't want to pay the additional charge that UPS was charging yet he wanted them in two days not three uh, he did not say this until after the fact uh, after they were already shipped and uh, well as you can see he really cheaped out he didn't even use proper packaging he didn't send our box back which was uh, about a twelve dollar box due to its insulation and the amount of packaging material used in that box and as you can tell that's the difference like this box was just a a free USPS box as you can see it not only leaked through and tore and both the fish are dead uh, this guy just did a terrible job for no absolute reason. He's a killer of animals. Yandro de Armas of Homestead, Florida. Killer of animals. This is deliberate animal cruelty on his part. Shame on him. Let's get a discussion going and let's um I'll go ahead and post this guy's eBay user ID and let's not let this uh let's not let this pair of marbled tropical angels let's not let their deaths go unheard. So I'd appreciate any likes on this video and additional comments, your thoughts about what this person did. Uh, I also looked at his eBay user ID. This is like the third time he's done something like this. So this person is really just very petty. Cheap. Cheap and petty, I would say. So once again, shame on you, Neandro Diarmis of Homestead, Florida. Alright, let's get this going, and I look forward to your comments. See you guys on the next video.